episode 104. Reflections on Mortality from Robert Greene's The Laws of Human Nature. We humans know we'll die someday, but we try not to think about it. It's like standing on a beach, seeing a huge ocean in front of us, but being too scared to swim in it. We turn our backs and pretend it's not there. But what if looking at death closely could actually help us live better? And how this can change our lives for the better? Usually we think about death as just an idea. Something far away that we don't have to worry about now. But death isn't just an idea. It's as real as life itself. From the day we're born, death is part of us. Our old cells die. We get older each day, and our body is always changing. We need to feel this truth in our bones, not just think about it in our heads. This might sound scary, but it's actually freeing. When we accept death as part of life, we start to see the world differently. Colors seem brighter. Moments feel more special. We become more alive. Let me tell you a true story. In 1849, a young writer named Fyodor Dostoevsky thought he was about to die. He was just 27 years old and was going to be executed for a crime. As he stood waiting to be killed, something amazing happened in his mind. He noticed things he'd never seen before. How sunlight hit a church dome, the expressions on other prisoners' faces. Every little detail of life suddenly seemed important and beautiful. At the last moment he was saved. It had all been a setup. But this experience changed him forever. He saw life differently after coming so close to death. Think about how we usually go through our days. We're often lost in our thoughts, worrying about small things, not really paying attention to what's around us. But when we think we might die, everything changes. Our brain becomes super alert. We notice every detail. We feel more alive than ever. While we can't and shouldn't put ourselves in real danger, we can learn from this. By thinking about death in the right way, we can wake ourselves up to life. Here are some things we can try. 1. When you go to bed, pay attention to how it feels to fall asleep. For a moment, you slip from being awake to being gone. This is a tiny taste of what death might feel like. It's not scary. It happens every night. 2. Sometimes, look at the world as if it's the last time you'll see it. Really notice the faces of people you love. Listen carefully to everyday sounds. Birds singing, cars passing by. Imagine all of this continuing without you there. 3. Think about your own death not in a scary way, but just wondering, how might it happen? Where might you be? What would you want to have done with your life? When we do these things, we might feel a little sad sometimes. That's okay. It means we're opening our hearts to how special and short life is. As a wise Japanese writer named Kenko said hundreds of years ago, if people lived forever, nothing would feel special. The fact that life doesn't last forever is what makes it precious. When we stop running from death and instead learn to live with knowing about it, strange and wonderful things happen. We stop taking days for granted. We love more deeply. We worry less about small problems. We make better choices about how to spend our time. We feel more connected to the world around us. It's like finally swimming in that ocean we were afraid of and finding out the water is fine. This isn't about being gloomy or obsessed with death. It's the opposite. By facing the truth that we'll die someday, we can live more fully now. We can stop pretending we have forever and start appreciating the time we do have. Think about a sunset. It's beautiful, partly because it doesn't last. If the sun stayed still in the sky, we might stop noticing it. Death is what makes life precious. By learning to face it, we don't make life darker. We make it brighter. How can we use this in our regular lives? Here are some ideas. 
When you wake up, take a moment to be grateful for another day. Tell people you love them, don't wait. Do things that matter to you instead of always saying someday. Notice small joys, a good meal, a friend's laugh, a warm bed. Make choices based on what truly matters, not what others expect. We can't change the fact that we'll die someday, but we can change how we live with this knowledge. Instead of turning our backs on death, we can let it teach us how to live. By facing the ocean of death, we don't drown. We learn to swim in the deeper waters of life. When we truly understand that our time is limited, we can finally start living fully. As the saying goes, death is not the opposite of life, it's part of it. And accepting this truth might be the key to living our best life. We're currently accepting support through likes on our video, which motivate us to create top quality content just for you. If you find something relatable, please share your thoughts and personal experiences in the comments. Your insights could be valuable to others. Also, make it a daily habit to learn something new. The content you consume feeds your mind, so be intentional about it. Without careful choice, algorithms might shape your thoughts for you. So stay mindful. Finally, don't forget to subscribe.